Hi there guys, my name is Aeon and you can learn, make and create together with me in Adobe Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can edit a portrait step by step using my action. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe Photoshop, as you can see we have opened our own file, but before we continue this video tutorial, please check all the links down in the description because we will find the raw files and the retouching actions. So if you want to get this raw file that I'm using right now, join my Telegram channel and get the raw file because I will put all the raw files there uh, from all the video tutorials that I'm creating on YouTube channel. So make sure to check all the links in the description and let's get started with this amazing portrait that is done by Victor Bez, I guess. I have I I hope that I'm pronouncing uh, name correctly. So let's get started with this video tutorial. And as you can see, we need to clean it first. But uh, today I'm going to show you another technique that I'm using lately. I will go to FS Plus, which is quick inspiration. So I'm gonna click play. And for the right radius of this portrait, I'm gonna go by 20%, maybe higher, or maybe 25. As you can see, uh, when the pimples and everything disappears so we are going to work only in the high frequency or in the texture as you can see i'm just uh, gonna choose a constant tool and as you can see when we turn off the high frequency or the texture it's only the uh, skin color or the color but uh, for the moment i'm going to work only on the high frequency with a constant tool so this way i'm going to clean uh, a uh, constant tool works this way. You have to click and hold Alt keyboard like this and copy the texture and paste it like this. So this is the best way uh, to clean and to leave no marks in the portrait uh, because, for example, if you are using the uh, sorry the spot healing brush tool or healing brush tool like this, for example, let me show you. You will create some uh, bad marks maybe here or maybe here so if you want to leave that uh, texture original you have to use constant tool in the high frequency so i'm gonna continue to copy paste the texture and clean this portrait in a professional way but be careful that you don't want to copy paste the texture like this copy here and paste it here because it will create some bad texture on your portrait so make sure to copy paste as near as possible By the way, I am using Wacom Intuos Pro S. I'm not using a mouse for a touch. If you are using a mouse right now, I would highly recommend you go get a Wacom Intuos or maybe another pen tablet for a touching. I'm gonna speed up this process because it's only with a constant tool and it's only with the cleaning. So here we are after we have done some general clean with a clone stamp tool and I think that I want to remove this hair in the middle of the portrait so I'm gonna start on the low frequency I'm gonna choose the mixer brush for the settings of mixer brush as you can see wet by 10 load 45 mix 45 flow by 33 I'm just gonna mix the skin tones here on the forehead just a little because there might be some of the hair and I think that we are good to go right now. So I'm gonna click on clone stamp tool, uh, clone stamp tool again, sorry. And as I said before, you have to copy paste the texture as soon as possible. Because this, uh, this is the way I'm going to clean this line here in the middle of the portrait. It's not that it's not looking that good, but I think that I just want to remove it. So this is the best way you want to clean the portrait. I mean like if you don't want to ruin your texture, obviously. You have to be careful on this uh, tight situation because you don't want to copy the texture and paste it here because it will create some bad texture. 
and my lips are kind of dry so sorry for that you have to be careful on this situation too because as you can see you have some lines on the lip obviously and again you have lines here again here and boom here we are with the removed hair and I think that is looking okay now I'm just gonna clean this part just a little to remove that and here we are with the before and after I think it's looking okay but I think that we might have some shadows here and I think that is on the color so I'm gonna use mixer brush again and just mixing the skin tones here let me check a before and after and I think it's looking good but we might remove that from the high frequency or the texture but because I think that is still on the texture let me just check a before and after and I think this is okay now as you can see we have some missed uh, texture so I'm gonna create some digital skin texture click play and with a white brush and 100% of a skin just gonna paint it here where we have cleaned this hair on here but I think that it's okay right now now you can zoom in check before and after of this and I'm gonna reduce it until it looks okay and I think that I'm gonna stick with the 45 maybe now check a before and after of this entire process I think it's looking okay I'm gonna create a, a thin layer another one because we have some here here and there so I'm just gonna click clean here and click play as you can see we have the clean here and the block on I tell player that helps us to see some details in the texture or in the uh, light spots from the light so now I'm gonna use spot cleaning brush tool and click on the clean layer and start cleaning this little stuff I couldn't do this on the frequency separation uh, because when we use constant tool with a high blur we can get uh, sorry some colors here and there so be careful with the tight spots that was only for the bigger things so now i'm gonna clean the white nose eyes from the wing just a little and as you can see that we are leaving some bad marks here and there but we're gonna fix that later with the, another frequency separation so i'm gonna clean some here I'm gonna go to the other side now I'm gonna use filling brush tool or maybe patch tool to remove this And I think that we are good to go. Let me just clean some here on the head because I think that they look not that good. And I think that we are good to go because as you can see, it's pretty looking okay. So I think that we are done with the cleaning. I'm just gonna merge them two, merge into one. And as you can see, it's clean. So now I'm gonna click on touch and burn, click play. Now, as you can see with the black and white, I can put this on top and here is the clean. Now I'm gonna start dodging and burning this portrait. So turn on the black and white and for the flow, I'm gonna go by 45 and opacity by 10 and I'm gonna dodge this portrait.
pictures of before and after and i think that we're good things okay now just check that the black and white turned on off sorry now i'm gonna open the group and you know the desaturated layer now check out before and after again i think it's looking okay reduce this by 50 percent because we don't want that too much i'll click on the burn and i'm gonna burn some highlight Now check out before and after all the burns, zoom in, and I think that it's looking okay. Now check out before and after all this entire process, I think it's okay. Now delete the black and white, and merge this into one, and as you can see, it's looking okay. Now that we are done with some clean and some dodging burn, it's time for the frequency operation again, so I'm gonna click on frequency operation and click plus, but uh, this time I'm going to reduce it by the radius i'm gonna go by eight maybe and i think that eight will be enough so i'm gonna open the frequency operation group and click on the low so i'm gonna start with the mixer brush for the settings of mixer brush i'm gonna go by 10 wet load 45 mix 45 and flow by 33 zoom in and start using mixer brush and start mixing the skin tones onto this portrait now check out before and after all the low frequency or the color and i think that is looking okay but i'm gonna reduce by 70 maybe or 80 something like that let me just check it before and after again and I think that is looking okay. Now I'm gonna merge these two into one again. Make another copy of this and create a flipping mask. I'm gonna zoom in here on the eyes and I'm going to stick with the dodge tool and mid tone. So I'm gonna bring up the eyes just a little. Do that on the other one. Now check out before and after. I think it's looking okay now click on the burn and for the midtones again by 10 percent i'm just gonna paint it here around the eyelashes and here we have a before and after i think it's looking okay do that same process in both of them now check a before and after i think it's looking amazing but I'm gonna reduce it by 75 because I think that 100% is way too much. I'm gonna zoom in, click on the high frequency with a clone stamp tool. I'm gonna clean this part of that because I think it wasn't looking that good uh, that we did before with the cleaning tools. So I'm gonna fix that texture. And I think that is looking okay. Now that we're done with the frequency separation, I'm gonna click on dodge and click on burn. So I'm gonna add some dodge and burn to this portrait. Click on black and white cell player, click play. And first I'm gonna use that dodge and with a bigger brush, I'm just gonna bring up some highlight into this portrait. Now check it before and after. I think it's looking okay. Now click on the burn and burn the cheeks around the forehead just a little, a little on the eyebrows, this side of the nose, and the lip. Now check it before and after, and I think that it's starting to look good. Now keep working on the dodge. The first dodge that we did into the portrait it was like local and this one is global so for them who are thinking that why is this guy using dodge and burn again and again this is the main reason now check out before and after all the dodge 
I think it's okay. Just reduce the desaturator layer at 50%. I'll click on the burn and keep working on the burn. Just a little more. I'll check the before and after. And I think that is okay, but I'm gonna reduce it by 50%. And I'm gonna enter the layer mask of this layer. And as you can see, you can enter the layer mask by clicking and holding Alt keyboard and clicking here on the mask. Now I'm gonna just go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. So I'm gonna blur this mask and I think that I'm gonna go by 30. Now enter out. And I think that is looking okay. Now I'll check the before and after all this entire process. I think it's looking amazing, but I'm gonna make some other changes here in this texture. It won't stand through because I think that when we zoom out, it's not looking that good. But I'm careful as I said in the texture because we don't wanna ruin it. If you have to just uh, zoom in and zoom out every time. And I think that is looking okay. Now here before and after all this entire process. I think it's okay. Now that we are done with the retouch, it's time for some color grade. Up to the color grade. Here we have the color grade light pink, colored by many actions. I'm gonna uh, check them one by one until I find the best color grade. And I think that I'm gonna stick with the A1, but I'm gonna check them layers one by one. And here before and after all the color grades, I'm gonna put some other adjustments here. Click on select your color. And to the reds, I'm gonna make some changes here. I'll check the before and after for some setting. I think it's okay, but I'm gonna reduce it by 50%. Maybe 45. Now click again here that says select your color. Now I'm gonna select the yellows and make some adjustments here. Reduce it by 50%. Now go again to the color balance and click on the highlights. So for the highlights, I'm gonna put some more red and yellow and reduce it by 25 and put them into the A1 or in the color grade. Now click here and paste contouring, click save. Wait until it's done. And here we have a before and after the face contouring. Double click and I'm gonna make some changes in the midtones and in the highlights. Now here before, here and after. So as you can see a before and after what we've done so far into this portrait, we can zoom in and here's a before, here's an after, here's a before, here's an after. So that's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial, please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because you will find the raw file and retouching actions. Leave some comments about my English if I'm understandable or not. Also, let me know if you learned something from this video tutorial and see you guys in the next one. Peace.